Hi, Boomiverse. My name is Hunter, a software engineer here at Boomi. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to create an AI agent with Boomi Agent Studio. So from the home page of my account, I'll select the AI icon at the top right of the platform screen, which will take me to the new Boomi AI experience, including Agent Studio, the Agent Garden, and Agent Control Tower. Agent Studio is a full agent life cycle management solution that enables organizations to design, govern, and orchestrate AI agents at scale with built-in governance for control, oversight, and compliance. Agent Studio is now generally available to all our direct customers starting May 24th, 2025, and the Agent Studio Base Edition is available in all Boomi Enterprise Platform Editions. For uh, insight, for additional functionality and capabilities, including the agent step not covered in this video, please consult our documentation, additional videos, or please contact your Boomi account representative to learn more. So to create an agent from this page, we will select the plus icon at the, the left here to select agent designer. Now that I've selected that, we have this window that pops up giving us some options. We can either import an agent from an agent file, create an agent from a, a blank template, or there are some available templates here that we can use to quickly get started, which we will use for the sake of this video. Also pointing out that we can preview what is included in templates by selecting the preview option when hovering over one of the template selections where we will see profile details, tasks, and tools as well. Not, no, no tools involved here with this template, as well as guardrails. Because we're comfortable using this template, we will select the use template option here, or we can, we can also simply go back, hover over the template option again, select the use template option there. And here we are in Agent Designer with our profile step where we have some areas to fill out for some basic information of our agent, including some goal details, the agent name, personality, configuration, the voice for your agent's responses, as well as conversation starters to help users and to give users something to start a conversation with the agent once it's created. Also, I'm gonna point out this test agent window here on the right side of the screen. This can be closed and reopened by using the agent, the, the test agent option here, and the X. We can also enter a full, a more full screen test interactive window there. And we can also reset our test as we make changes and continue to interact with, with the test instance here. So this all looks good to me. We can go ahead and save this and continue on to our next step. Next is we have our tasks where we can cre create tasks for this agent to do. And you can create up to 10 tasks and have up to 25 tools for all tasks. So let's look at one of our tasks here, diagnose issue. Here within our task, we give the task a name and a description of what the task will do. Here are the instructions for this particular task for the agent, where we can ask clarifying questions about an issue, determine the category of a problem, and identify potential causes based on the user's computer. This is an, an IT support bot template. And that is similar to 
these other tasks here. You can, or we can add another task using this add new task option and edit or remove tasks as needed from this step. Let's save and continue. And here are our guardrails, our rules and restrictions for the agent to make sure that it is uh, working securely and ethically where we have some uh, message, we have a blocked message here set, as well as areas for um, topics that can be denied. Here's this one for uh, data privacy, word filters where we can uh, uh, set up to 100 words or short phrases to be blocked, and setting restrictions of red, regex patterns um, that can be configured to filter specific types of sensitive information, certain formats or data types. That's here in guardrails. And let's go ahead and hit save and continue. And now here we are at our review section where we, we have a ability to review what we've configured for this agent. And that all looks good. And now let's go and use our, our test option here before we deploy and ask it um, What details should I gather before submitting a networking IT case? And here we go, our generative response, giving us some details to gather before submitting a networking case. So from this test view, we can see a trace of how this response was generated, the different steps and thinking, the detail that it, it went through, um, so on and so forth. And that all looks good to me. We can, um, either exit out of this or I'll demonstrate this refresh option where we can clear that out. And now that we've got a good test, let's go ahead and deploy our agent. We'll select that deploy agent option, select deploy. And now we've been directed from agent designer down to our agent agents view where we can uh, see our created agents we can create we have a create new agent option here we can create agents from this view as well and here is our it support bot agent so let's say that we want to um, interact with this agent we can navigate to chat come up here to the top left and here we have our IT support bot agent. And now we can work with our IT support bot agent that we just created. And let's ask it a, another, uh, another question. And just like we configured, it's going to ask us for some additional information, remembering that 
uh, that task step. All right. I hope this was informative. That is it for now. Thank you for your time and please enjoy the rest of your day.